Welcome to Prince Edward Island. Canada's smallest province tucked right between Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. We just spent the last two days along the South Shore seeing red sand beaches, tasting the best lobster roll of our lives, and exploring the island's largest city, Charlottetown. They both liked me because I got so many prizes. What the heck? Did you get this? No. <laughs> oh. And today we're driving all around the island in search of the best beaches. Our first stop takes us to Point Prim Lighthouse the first and oldest lighthouse on PEI built in 1845. Back in the day, there used to be a lighthouse keeper, someone who managed the lighthouse and lived right on site. What a beautiful way to start the day. We're here at the Point Prim Lighthouse on the westernmost point of the Point's East Coastal Drive. And today we're starting our journey, making our way as far as we can, traveling with a little baby. So we'll see how far we go, but we have a lot to do on this drive. This gift shop behind us is a replica of the keepers, the lighthouse keeper. But you can see the original grounds, footprint of the keeper's home, which was literally right on the edge of the cliff here. So with nasty storms, it probably took a beating. Well, why it's done feeding, it's starting to fill up now and they just put cones. So I'm guessing the cruise ships are landing in the port and buses are gonna start coming here. So if you wanna avoid the crowds, get here early probably the case for most of the spots here, but we're going to continue eastbound and see what we can find. And we made it to our second spot of the day. We're at Cape Bear Lighthouse. How was your nap? It was good, Daddy. Yeah? Yeah, you want to get it? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah? You ready to go see your second lighthouse today? Yeah. yeah. This spot is really cool because right across the waterway you can see Nova Scotia. God, it's beautiful. Look at the water. There's the sun glistening in the water. Oh, it's amazing. When we were in Newfoundland, we saw a ton of different berries on the hikes. We just saw some berries right there. I don't know what those red ones are. Those are poison berries. Poison? Just kidding, yeah, I wonder if they are uh, edible or not. What a cool, relaxing spot. It's amazing how the entire coast, at least what we've seen so far, is like 30 feet above sea level, and the cliffs are just like slowly eroding away as the waves come through or if a big storm comes through it probably just eats away at it. Apparently there's a spot that's even further down the point but it's on this dirt road here. Hopefully we can get even better views than Cape Bear Lighthouse. Look at that brown water bud. It is getting super thin and it smells like low tide. This spot is awesome. We can actually sleep here tonight if we wanted to in the van, but we still have a lot to see today and it's kind of out of the way. So unfortunately, we're probably gonna move on, but wow, I mean, this is incredible. just made it to Georgetown and we thought there was gonna be more of a town but it doesn't seem like there is but there's this awesome little park along the water here that we're hanging out maybe go for a swim maybe take a shower there's public showers apparently who knows if they're still on though because we're in October but public showers are a big deal for folks mm. living in vans we do have 36 gallons on board oh, on boy. board we're out of it now but you know you gotta be conservative because you only have a limited supply. And you don't want to fill up every single day. You don't want to fill up every single day, so. Man, if Wyatt was like two years old. I know, he'd love this thing. This would be so fun. Be so freaking fun. I'm so excited for that. Like, oh, buddy, like, look where we are. Yeah, look, there's a choo-choo. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be epic. Look at this. You're on the train, bud. Great 
The water is crystal clear, Taylor. I'll be the judge of how clear that crystal is that you're referring to. It's crystal. It's pretty clear. Really clear. Nice little pergola, picnic table, trash cans. Is it Christmas morning for Van Langers? What's the verdict? Hot shower, bathrooms, changing rooms. It's pretty oh, nice. Wow. And we're going in the water. Maybe. Are we all going swimming? Not all of us. Our guys gonna be cold. Oh yeah, that's not him. Wow, this is awesome. This is like, like Taylor said, we hit the lottery. I mean, that's great. Great. Bummer, we can't catch the shellfish in here. They're contaminated. But it doesn't say we can't go swimming. Well, if the shellfish are contaminated, then if we get in the water, we'll be contaminated. So maybe we shouldn't swim. Maybe we shouldn't swim. <laughs> But why do they have a stair thing here? Huh? Red sand. PEI loves their red sand. Red dirt. Oh gosh. All right, we might be bailing on uh, swimming. Oh, it's, we're both bailing? It's so shallow. Oh, he's talked himself out of it. <laughs> Hasn't he? I don't know. Maybe. Just got done our shower, went for a run. Life's good when you have unlimited water. Like oh. that's... A shower where you don't have to turn off the water literally feels like a spa. A spa day. It's amazing. Yeah, you uh, tend to take things for granted until you don't have them anymore. It's nice to not take things for granted that we do every day. We are grateful for everything that so we have. So grateful. Is what I'm trying to say for the third time. Anyway. We're gonna go to bed. We got Wyatt's crib ready to go. He's gotta eat one last time and then and then we're shutting down and we'll see you tomorrow. Before we make it to East Cape Lighthouse, we are doing a quick pit stop here at Basin Head. We saw it on the map here and had to stop because we noticed that it's a provincial park and it must be pretty popular because this parking lot is massive and the amenities here are huge. It looks like there's restaurants. Unfortunately, it's closed because we're in October and it's off season, but man, we have white sand beaches and just from the parking lot deck, this looks really, really beautiful. Yesterday we learned that the south shore of PEI actually has some of the warmest waters north of Virginia, which is really interesting because who would think this far north you get warm water, but due to the shallow depths of this area, the sun just warms it up really quickly and it stays relatively warm all summer. I said I wanted to go. You said another day. I said don't you Apparently, in the summertime, when the tide is going out, all this water rushes this way, and kids jump from here into the water and get pushed out to a little sandbar right out there, which sounds absolutely so much fun, even for adults. I don't know why he's just saying kids have to do it, but. The water here is flowing so fast through this little channel right here, but it's really nice. Like you have the main beach with the waves, but if you have like little toddlers and you want them to just I have like the little kiddie pool. There's like a little cove beach right over here, which is really nice. That actually is a really nice little beach. Right? Like, this is such a cool spot. Very and interesting. It's very white sand on this, and then there's still red right there. I wish it was a little bit warmer because I want to jump in and get pushed by this tide. That sounds yeah. so fun. I mean, how lovely is this? It's a really big bummer that this is the first spot on our list because I could stay here all day. I know. It's so peaceful. You can surf those little uh, 
wind chop. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bump out here with the wind right now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can we just have four days here? Maybe a week, four weeks? I cannot get over this spot. You have the main beach, you have like a lake vibe right here. And you have all the amenities. It's just, I never seen anything like it. It's beautiful. Look at this, like what? That's crazy. I don't understand how there's red rock or stone or sand or mud, whatever you want to call it. And then white, white. right yeah. here. <laughs> okay, we just confirmed that this is actually the best beach in PEI and all of Canada, and I think there's good reason for it. We could probably agree. Yeah. Clearly, we haven't been to every beach, but this one is spectacular. I mean, in the summertime, with all of these little stores and bathrooms and changing stations, and with these cool boardwalk areas, this place is probably booming. Yeah. Well, it's safe to say I thought we had some pretty cool stuff on our list of things to do for today, but after seeing this place, I'm pretty sure this is going to top the charts. Alright, buddy boy. Was that fun? I had fun. If only it was a little warmer, we could have actually had ourselves a beach day in October on Prince Edward Island. I would have never believed that. We made it to East Point Lighthouse, Canada's Confederation Lighthouse, apparently. But little man's sleeping, so what to do now? Well, since the baby's sleeping, we decided to press on and start making our way westbound. Our first stop is the Greenwich National Park for an amazing hike. Okay. Well, we made it to Greenwich, but we need some food, and luckily we're having leftovers from last night. Great choice, having the microwave in. Otherwise, we'd have to heat it up in the pan. Oh, it'd be so brutal. Yeah. The microwave is a nice addition. It makes cooking so much easier. Once we get done our little meal here, and once Wyatt gets done eating, hey buddy, we're gonna go check out this little hiking path along the beach. It's supposed to be really cool. I'm excited. What are you doing? Are you flying? Yeah. In you go. Are you ready to hike? I thought for a Tuesday afternoon in the beginning of October there would be far less people. But geez, I think everybody in the upper area of PEI is doing this hike today. Floating dock. Good thing we didn't bring our horse. <laughs> yeah, I see that smile. Little white guy is five months and a week old. Uh, a week and change. Yeah. And he is so much more observant right now. You can see his head is just swiveling back and forth, just taking it all in. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we have officially made it to the floating boardwalk. Ooh. And I'm super excited. This is so cool. It like oddly reminds me of like the Carolinas because yeah, you're like in the that. dunes. Look at and this. it's yeah. really, really pretty. Ooh, Bob, we're going on the dock. We've reached it. Woo! 
Don't float away. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little uh, wobbly. I was wondering why this trail was rated moderate because I was like, it's just flat. But I guess because you have to have some type of balance, but it's really not bad. We're now off the floating dock. Gonna tower this oh, no. dune and then go on the beach. Some lady said dad gets extra points because I'm carrying Wyatt and mommy is not happy about it. I mean, did I not birth him, feed him, keep him alive, change him? Pretty much do everything for him <laughs> until dad decided to walk with him on the hike. You know what, mom? <laughs> Just because I get the extra points, you don't have to be bitter about it. Yes. Wow. It is beautiful up here. I mean, it really reminds me of North Carolina. Yeah, it does. A lot, actually. Outer Bank vibes, for sure. But this hike nice was really, really nice. I really enjoyed this. Did you, bud? You going down? I'm just going to see if I can pull it out of the air. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Do you memories? Take all the Oh, gosh. I don't understand why, but for some reason, Taylor has a love for driftwood. She just absolutely is obsessed with it. <gasps> Mommy's crazy. Daddy loves it's electrical. Daddy loves it's time to go back. Daddy loves it. It's time to go back. I think this beach might trump the other one in terms of actual beach. Basin head? Yeah. Just saying. Wow, heavy claim. It's a huge beach. It's a big beach, but you don't have any of the amenities and stuff. Right, right. I'm talking just beach. Oh, okay. The other beach was huge, too. We just didn't walk it. It was not as wide. Okay. Uh. The verdict's in. <laughs> this is a must-do. This is epic. Coolest hike in PEI. Pretty easy and just peaceful. Beautiful. Love it. Love cool. it. Every moment of it. Good stuff. Even Wyatt likes it. No driftwood for mom. No, dad wouldn't let me. He said that he was going to leave me behind if I brought it. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> uh. All right. Go team. Go team. Okay, I think we found our spot for the night. Well, let's see the level test. What do we got there? Goya black beans. All We're right. These for dinner. No roll. No roll. A very slight roll forward, but I think we're pretty good. I think we're good. All right, bud, you're free. Freedom. You got that sock, dude. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Bon appetit. Thanks, mama. No problem. Mm. So good. What's your comment, sir? Nothing. Well, I have my doubts about that. We just made it to Cavandish Beach, which is one of the most popular beaches in PEI. It's not, well, we haven't went, we haven't visited it yet. We're just in the parking lot right now. But my guess is it's not better than Basin's Head. This is just a really popular area. It's definitely a pretty touristy with uh, some theme parks and stuff. But uh, 
once the little guy gets some food in him, we're gonna go explore. All right. White is clean, ready to go. Semi full belly didn't eat great, but we are here in Cavendish. Cavendish? Cavendish or Cavendish? Cavendish. We're here in Cavendish. We're here in Cavendish. It's part of the national park, so you do have to pay. Luckily, we're off season, so we don't have to pay. But it's pretty nice. A lot of amenities. You're feeding that? Just like Greenwich, there's a hiking trail that has the floating docks. We're currently on it right now. It's so cool. It's so nice, because you get like, it's just such a calm walk. The water here is really clear. It wasn't this clear over in Greenwich, but. And it's just stagnant. It's like you do not, really not want to dip your toes in that. No, 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 no. With all the growth and stuff, little fungi. But there's minnows in here and stuff. So that wraps it up for PEI. We officially found the best beach here and in all of Canada. And then we also scored two other great beaches with Greenwich in here at Cavendish. Cavendish? Cavendish. Cavendish. I'm probably never gonna get that right on the first try. <laughs> but all three were amazing. Really, if you go to any one of them, you're gonna score and have a great time. I think Basin Head and Cavendish have more amenities, especially for like a day trip. There's campgrounds close by. Cavendish is definitely a bit more touristy with more amusement parks and restaurants and things. But you can't go wrong here. This place is incredible. I'm shocked that this is our first time here and I can't believe it's not way more popular in the States. I also think if you're looking to surf, this is definitely the spot. This beach has the best waves, it seems like. And just more of like a surfing, outdoor sports kind of atmosphere. Unfortunately, the wind isn't on our side today and making the ocean or the Gulf of St. Lawrence a bit choppy, but it would have been cool to surf the Gulf of St. Lawrence since technically it's not an ocean out there, but maybe next time when we visit again. Hmm. Where are we off to next? I think it's surf spot. We might be heading to Mong Tan. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably getting that wrong too. To surf a tidal wave. A tidal wave. Tidal bore. So we'll see if we get lucky there. I see that. Ready, bud? In my friend. 